Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh in a tiny reindeer. The old little driver, so lively and so quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blixen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the hurricane fly, when they meet an obstacle, mount to the sky. <clears throat> so up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, was a sleigh full of toys in St. Nicholas too. And then a wink, twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawning of each little hoof. As I drew my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. And he was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys was flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His drum roll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight on his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And he's laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod of the chimney he rose. He sprung the sleigh to his team, gave a whistle, and they flew, all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.